Mary Meet, Annie here, and welcome to Monday on Pagan Perspective. Our subject this week is technology. The questions came to us from Reva Witch, who was asking us, can we live an earth-centered spiritual life connected to all things technological and buying all the latest gadgets? I'm paraphrasing the question. That is the sense of the question. I think it is an interesting question. And at first I thought, well, I certainly am not against technology in any sense because I'm with you and I've met so many of you and come to know so many of you as friends because of technology. The computer that I hook to, the camera that I record this on. We don't have a lot of high technology things in our house. The two things I just mentioned, the computer and the video camera, are probably about it. We do have a landline phone. We don't have cell phones. We just never, either one of us, felt the need to be that connected to everyone we know every moment of the day. I have eschewed almost all forms of electronic communication as far as social media is concerned. Things like Twitter and Facebook and things just don't appeal to me. One-liners from people that I know just aren't enough for me. I either want to have a conversation with you or wait until we have the time to have a conversation. I have just a different way of looking at those kinds of things. I tried some of those things. And that's where my opinion on this is going to come from. This whole concept of technology. It's a matter of how we use our time as far as I would say where my opinion comes from. Does it facilitate? Make it easier to be in, in touch? Can we remain in touch better? Be more connected? What is the power of it? It is a communal thing. In a modern sense, no different than sending up the signals from the fires on the hilltops from village to village. It's the way we communicate over miles and over time. So I'm all for that. I'm certainly all for what we make of it. I allot my time online, though, because the one thing I do feel, the danger of some of these technologies is there are the technologies which facilitate things, make it easier, make it more efficient, keep us better in touch. And there are the things which take our time. And we each make our decisions. How do we want to spend our time? I do see that the constant need for connection that many of us have, by all the electronic means and the social media, sometimes mean we very rarely have any time to ourselves. In the day when we might have had some time to ourselves, in the midst of our busy lives, we're connected to someone else. We're texting or we're talking on a cell phone. Connected by some means to the internet, we've lost the time that's just for us. Yes, you could say that use of our technologies creates some time just for us. But so many of my friends who really enjoy and use to the max every form of technology and modern communication available are the same ones who don't have a moment in their life that there's not somebody in their life, in their face or in their ear. So I do think that that's a challenge, but I think it's a challenge in the sense that each person decides what they want that to be and what it brings them in the way of value and how they choose to spend the hours of their day. It's not for another to have an opinion on that. I guess the only place where I really, really have an opinion is so many of my young pagan friends. I shouldn't say that. That's not fair. Pagan friends of all ages aren't getting outside. They're inside and on their computers. So I certainly I'm concerned for young people that are housebound, that don't have to be housebound. They've chosen to be connected to their computer rather than connected to the world outside. And by that, I mean the world of nature and also the world of their tribe, of the other humans they meet in their meanderings in the real world. Yeah, I think that concerns me. I think also that at an older age like myself, it's easier for me to sit than to walk nowadays. <laughs> Walking presents a set of challenges that I didn't have when I was younger. And it can be easier to sit in front of the computer than it is to get up, get my cane, and go for a walk. So I guess that does 
it does feel like a bit of a disconnect for me. It's a savior for those who are handicapped and truly cannot get out and about, that they can enjoy the beautiful videos and pictures and the blogs about people and places and things that can come into their lives that they might be disconnected from otherwise. So there is some powerful, positive aspects to it too. But I wonder how many of us are spending too much time inside because we have committed ourselves to things, cyber, things, computer. I am concerned at times that when I see the stress levels of people that I know of all ages, some of it I think comes from never a moment alone. Never a moment that you don't feel you are available to others and others don't feel that you aren't constantly available to them. So my opinion about it, I guess, is first, we all choose how we spend our time and how we make use of these things cyber. I think of the power of collecting information for those of you who are building your grimoire and your books of shadow, using your computers, the information you can collect. I do wonder then, are we taking the time that we used to take when we wrote everything down by hand to then discern through that information what was important? When you used to write everything down by hand, you didn't just parrot everything you saw any place and write it down and cut it, paste it off the internet. You thought about what was important and you only captured what had meaning for you. The flip side of that, though, is the power of being able to collect information and assemble knowledge and study what we've collected. I use the laptop for a lot of things that even 10 years ago would have shocked me if someone had told me that I would collect spiritual information on my laptop. Not something I would have thought I would do 10 years ago. So I do wonder if in our studies we aren't so full of overload and overkill with the information we can so easily collect and cut and paste into our collections. Where is our winnowing out process for that? And we can do that. And a lot of you do very powerfully use the, all the media you have at your fingertips to explore and build your spiritual base. So I'm not of a mind of opinion one way or the other whether it is good or bad. I do think that it can disconnect us. And I think when it disconnects us, it makes us less connected to the earth. And by that I mean everything on it, including our fellow humans. When that happens, when that disconnect happens, it's more because of a choice we've made regarding the time we spend. So it can be said, and indeed I will say it, if you had no technology at your fingertips, you would still need to be making decisions how to spend your time. And you may make decisions that kept you connected and one with the earth and the people around you or not. So I will not blame all things technology to be the root of that ill. It's a matter of time and how we choose to use our time. I embrace the technology that fits into my life, fits into my lifestyle. Going out and buying all the latest gadgets, no, that wouldn't be something that I would consider. Most of them have no appeal to me. I'm not at your beck and call. You cannot just call me any time of day or night. I expect to reach me. It's just not the way I roll. It's just not what feels right for me. I permit myself the quiet time, the time to be with my own thoughts, to spend devoted time with Roger and not be interrupted. To take a walk without a phone ringing in my hip. <laughs> so I have a way of doing it because it is the way I personally have chosen to assign time in my life. It's not a reflection on things cyber or technological. And I just want to end this with, I cannot imagine not having things technological in my life at this point because of all the friends that I've made around the world all different countries and all different experiences and religions and ages that I would not have had the opportunity to connect with otherwise. I am so much the better for that. Absolutely. So the only downside I see to things technology is are we thinking, when we take advantage of all these uh, marvels, that we are giving away bits of our life to them and is it the balance we really want to live in? Make decisions on using them. Not find ourselves suddenly at the end of the day having accomplished nothing outside of dealing with the electronics in our life. 
I wish you all mirth and reverence. Merry part.